Shepard, with those Krogan cannons operational, Cerberus has actually given us the advantage in that system. The enemy's pulling back, but we think they'll try to seize the facility again. Seems likely. I'm sending an Alliance team to keep it secure. They've got a foothold in a strong defensive position, thanks to you. Glad to hear it. Good work, Commander. Hack it out. It's a nightmare. Looks like Rex was right about Reaper Scouts. Edie, any further intel? The mission brief identifies the Turian commander as Lieutenant Tarquin Victus. Victus? Primarch, son. <laughs> Try to raise him. For a Turian commander, what happened here is... Let's just say the Turian code is not forgiving. And that it's his son is bad for the Primarch. Promoting family without merit can bite you in the ass. What's strange is the Primarch knows that. Commander, I have to land well back from the main crash site. That the best you can do? Yes, sir. But the Reapers seem unaware of our presence. You might get the jump on them. All right, set her down. Let's save this platoon. Lieutenant Victus. Yes, but the connection is bad. Patch me in. This is Commander Shepard, Alliance Navy. Do you read? This is Lieutenant Tarquin Victus of the 9th Platoon. We're pinned by Reaper Harvesters and taking heavy casualties. Also, there are pockets of my men scattered along the crash trajectory. Lieutenant, I need you to fire a flare so I can find your position. Got it. This sounds bad. Let's move. Looks worse than I feared. A secretarian mission on Tachanka is especially odd. Thoughts? It doesn't matter. Our mission is clear. Just beyond. Looks like the Turians are in tough. 
Enemies up ahead don't know we're here. Surprise on our side for once. I like it. Exactly. Let's go.
expect us? Commander Shepard, my men and I are in your debt. Thank you for saving so many. What happened here? He screwed up. Stand down, soldier. These men are dead because of him. I said, stand down. Hey, I just saved all your asses, so everyone just calm down. Lieutenant, what's going on here? I made a bad call. This is all on me. I chose caution and clever tactics over a head-on attack. And my men paid the price. You mean the crash? Yes. We could see on Hollow that Reaper forces were blocking our intended path. Staying on course guaranteed heavy casualties. So I chose a safer route, skirting the enemy. And that took us low and through these ruins. When we encountered resistance, there was no room to maneuver. Suddenly, we were in a fight for our lives. A lot of my men lost that fight. Owning your mistake takes guts. But you have to get over it and move on. Of course. It's just fresh right now. Our mission's still a failure. When we've stabilized the injured, we'll head back to the fleet. You're abandoning your mission? We're down over 30 men. It'd be suicide. What exactly did you come here to do? There's a bomb on the planet. We were sent to defuse it. A bomb? How big? Enormous. Cerberus has it. Lieutenant, if Cerberus has that bomb, you have to finish your mission. Haven't these men sacrificed enough? I understand. This kind of sacrifice is the hardest to ask for, but your men signed on for it. And so did you. My men have lost hope, Commander. Even if I wanted to finish the mission, they don't. It's your job to make them want to. How? Their sacrifice means that others will never face what they faced here today. Remind them that those sacrifices have no honor if the mission fails. Men, I own what happened here today. But we have to carry on. No, we don't. Who cares about a few dead Krogan? It's over. We are Turian. And we will not let Cerberus succeed. Our sacrifice is the difference between life and death for this entire galaxy. Let the heroes of the Ninth Platoon be remembered for performing their duties with bravery. All right, men. Shuttle's arriving any minute. We're moving out. Commander, come with us. We're a shell of what we were. We could use the help. Send me the nav point. I'll see what I can do. Thank you. That'll give us time to do a little recon. See what we're up against. Victus, you have a second chance here. Make their sacrifice count. Understood, Commander. Hope to see you at the rendezvous. Cerberus bomb. What the hell is going on, Commander? And what do the Turians have to do with it? Coordinates Victus gave me place it in the Kelphic Valley. It's a heavily populated area. That's all I know. My gut says something's not right here. What do you suggest? Get the Primarch to come clean. Should we alert the Krogan military? I'd wait. We're in the dark here. krogan turian relations are fragile until the genophage is cured. Let's not push it. And how about this bomb? How many troops does Cerberus have on this? No idea. All I know is we can't have them detonating that bomb. Keep me in the loop. Hack it out. Primarch Victus. Impressive work on Tuchanka. I'm grateful that... Why didn't you tell me about the Cerberus bomb? Why hide that? What else are you keeping from me? I have nothing for you. For our alliance to work, I need to trust you. Our friendship is new, Commander. Would you trust me with information that puts your people, puts Earth, at risk? Why would I jeopardize our alliance by lying to you now? Doesn't make sense. Decisions like these weigh heavy on me. When I was a general, I could pass them up the chain of command. But now, I'm all I've got. Know what I mean? Sure. And? And... And that's all. Wait, there is one more thing, Commander. Thank you for saving my son.
Shepard, test verified. Results promising. Can synthesize for universal Krogan immunity. Good. Then you can put your knife away. The cure's ready? No. Still need transmission vector. Cure useless, unless given to entire species. You infected them with a disease easy enough. Is the cure that different? No. Keeping modalities similar when possible. Easiest way to develop cure rapidly. Groundwater? No, too slow. Voluntary inoculation risky. Population too scattered for airborne. Unless... Wait, yes! The Shroud. Constant global dispersion of air particles. Built by Salarians to repair atmosphere of Tuchanka. Also used by Turian. We used it to secretly spread the genophage virus. It ended the Krogan rebellions. I'd be careful who you tell that to. Sometimes I understand why the Krogan want to shoot everyone in sight. Those were desperate times. Yes, yes, but useful now. Original genophage strain still in storage at Shroud Facility. Can use it as transmission vector, then use Shroud to blanket Tuchanka with cure. You clever little piejack. That's our best shot, right there. Then finish your preparations and be ready to go, Morton. Of course. Ready when you need me. We'll be in Med Bay with Eve until then. Commander, Admiral Anderson is available on VidCom. Shepard. So I imagine by now you've wiped the galaxy clean of Reapers and we can all come up for air? Not quite. There have been a few complications. Aren't there always? Hackett filled me in on the crucible. Sounds like you've got some knots to untangle. I'm just glad I could take care of one of them for you. I gather you and Kaylee Sanders were close. I owe you for that one, Shepard. Kaylee and I met almost 20 years ago. We even had a run-in with Saren in his early days. She and I were... more than close. She misses you. I miss her. End of the world has a way of reminding you what you forgot to do. Maybe when the war's over, Kaylee and I will do something about that. You'll see her soon. I can hope. But you've got a bigger problem right now. Like a galaxy full of scared bureaucrats. It's what you hired me to do. Mostly you were hired to kill Reapers. I hope you haven't been sidetracked by all the politics. Nothing I can't handle. What about you? What's happening on Earth? I'll spare you the details, but let's just say a lot of cities around the world have stopped checking in. That bad? You and I knew what we were in for, but everyone else? I don't think the shock's worn off yet. Are you safe? That changes by the hour. I caught a shuttle evac out of Vancouver, and now we're running from Foxhole to Foxhole just trying to stay alive. What about the Reapers? They're harvesting everything that moves. They're focusing on the big cities, which does give us some room to maneuver. You think you can hang on? Hell, we're still just trying to talk to each other. Right now, all we can do is organize the resistance at a local level. No lack of volunteers, at least. Everybody knows what's at stake. I don't know how we'll win this yet, but we will. Even if it kills me. Well, you've already died once, and that didn't slow you down. But let's not tempt fate. Keep yourself safe, Shepard. You too, sir. We'll talk again soon. Anderson out. So, Reapers don't have colonies. You can't bomb them, or you're bombing what's left of your own planet. They may Commander, look at that galaxy. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite pack. Lieutenant Victus with the 9th Platoon. Do you copy? We hear you, 9th Platoon. 
We're approaching the bomb site, Commander. Getting bounced around pretty bad. This is as close as we get, Lieutenant. Look for somewhere to set your platoon down. Copy that. Talk to me about this Cerberus bomb. It's not Cerberus, Commander. It's... Turian. What do you mean, Turian? It was planted centuries ago. After the Krogan rebellions. The bomb was a safeguard against another galactic war. Brutal, but it makes a certain kind of sense. Put the Krogan down hard if they tried anything. You won't earn trust with tactics like that. But right now, we focus on disarming that bomb. Yes, but Cerberus found it. Detonation means all-out war between my people and the Krogan. Right. Where is it? Those buildings ahead. Cerberus brought equipment to dig it up. The 9th platoon will cover your flank, Commander. With all this activity, the Krogan have to know something's up. Then we can't fail, Commander. Copy that, Lieutenant.
Cerberus had to dig it out. I hope he gets us what he's doing. We won't get a second chance. We gotta move, Shepard. Commander, we're entering the bomb site. Moving towards the control station. Roger that. We're on our way. We're nearly on top of the bombs. Cerberus will be back with everything they've got. It was a mistake when I was to be seen. set up a firewall around the trigger mechanism to slow us down. I need to create a bypass. That'll take time. But like you said, no trigger, no explosion. Are you sure you can disarm the trigger? Yes, it's old tech. I know what to do. Buy me a few minutes, Commander. We'll make sure you have the time you need, Lieutenant. Understood. Starting bypass. And thank you for making sure I get this chance. Just make it right, soldier. Look out! Commander! Focus on the bomb. We'll handle Cerberus. Nobody gets past us. Clear? Understood! Cerberus hacked the trigger mechanism. It's set to detonate! Disarm it! No time! I have to separate the trigger from the bomb. Now! Cover me!
I've got radio chatter coming in from Krogan Forces planet side. Sounds like they started sweeping out the remaining Cerberus troops. Hate to be the guy who told the Krogan about that surprise package. Did you get out all right? Sounds like it got ugly down there. The Turians took a lot of casualties, Joker. The Primarch's son included. Understood, Commander. Joker out. He never hesitated. Whatever he was before, he'll be remembered for this. What will the Turians think about this, Garrus? Hard to say. Sacrifice and war is expected. He did us proud, but we're a hard bunch to please. Living your life for the cause, society first, platoon first, it's all just expected. He did what he had to do when it counted. Yes. Yes, he did. Good work on Tachunka, Commander. Stopping that bomb prevented the war between the Turians and the Krogan. We can't afford that kind of division right now. Joker said the Krogan are recovering the bomb. They moved in, won't allow Turians to send in recovery crews to help. Understandable. The situation is fragile at the moment. With Rex and the Primarch aboard the Normandy, you've got a situation brewing. We don't have a solid alliance between those two yet. Keep the peace, Commander. That's an order. Yes, sir. Check it out. We couldn't risk another galactic war with the Krogan. The Genophage wasn't enough? You had to plant a bomb on my planet? The decision was made hundreds of years ago. So much has changed. Not enough to tell us about the bomb, coward. Hey! The Reapers are out there destroying the galaxy and you want to fight about this? Primarch, you had a bomb on Tachunka. And Rex, in the Turian's place, you would have done the same damn thing. Shepard. It's over. His own son died today, making this right. Please, Commander. It's all right. Yes, fine. Shepard, you made your point. We have stronger enemies to face. We do. <sighs> I understand your reservations before, Commander. But I hope you now understand the secrecy. I hate secrets and politicians, Primarch. Your son had to die to fix this. Yes. You're right, Commander. It was a mistake not to trust you. I know that now. My son... He died with the respect of his men. I wanted to thank you for that. His sacrifice will be recorded in the histories of the Ninth Platoon. Something any father would be proud of. Yes, sir.
I heard what Victor's did. He was a brave man. I don't think I could... Oh, there I go again. I was going to say that I could never do that. But? But I was wrong. Being here, watching you, you've shown me what it means to serve in the Alliance. You're a good officer, trainer. Glad you finally realize it. Thanks. Not that I'm volunteering for bomb jump duty. I'd suggest sending someone who has armor first, if possible. Hey, Esteban, for your shuttle being so stealthy and all, you sure do get shot at a lot. Well, the UT-47A stealth systems only internalize heat and high band emissions. So while few sensors can pick us up, our cover is blown as soon as someone looks up. Time for an upgrade. Most scanners and tracking systems don't operate in mid-range frequencies. Sure, maybe we've been shot at, but we haven't been shot down. Yet. Lucky for us, you're almost as good a pilot as you think you are. Well, yeah. There's that, too. Rex is a badass. I bet he's got some real interesting stories to tell. <laughs> More than something else. His mouth moves faster than a frog on a hot rock in the middle of summer. Parts of Tachanka reminded me of the desert back home. The lizards and worms are bigger, but, you know, the sand and everything. Your people would have made a good addition to our empire, Durian. You are cunning. Uh-huh. And by addition, you mean slave race. Subservient race. Right. Calling it that makes all the difference. But you did not go far enough. Either you should have detonated the bomb on the Krogan world, or used it as leverage. I think we were just trying to guarantee peace. A static mode of existence. Nothing changes. Nothing struggles. Nothing grows. On the upside, we all get to live another day. Nice chatting. There is some enjoyment in speaking to this Turian. His knowledge of war is formidable. Though he would be an even better marksman if he had four eyes. Back when the Krogan rebelled, I would have detonated a bomb that day. There was no need for the genophage. Yes? 